What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. And a lot of people um, on both sides of the world, um, on both sides of uh, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, and the, everyone is really puzzled on what happened to both fighters when they took their L. They both were stopped in the seventh round, right? Uh, they both ended on their feet. They weren't, they weren't knocked out, but they were technically knocked out. The fight was stopped on both accounts, okay? And a lot of people were trying to figure out, you know, was it a concussion on AJ's behalf? Was it a drug, you know, on Deontay? Wilder's behalf was the water spiked, you know, did Anthony Joshua have a panic attack? You know what I mean? What really happened with both fighters? And I seen the funniest shit I read on the comments. I mean, this was absolutely hilarious and I have to share it with you because according to Mr. Al P, shout out to him. <laughs> he summed it up on both fights. Okay, the conspiracies on both with both fights have been answered. And this is what he had to say. Now, I want you guys to listen to me very carefully, okay? <laughs> um, LP said, the drug is called punch drunk. <laughs> you take it by getting hit hard in the head. And it's not a performance enhancing drug. Vada has no plans to develop a test for this drug. <laughs> Punch drunk. And that's absolutely true. I mean, people forget that you can get hit and your legs go all over the place. Remember when the Ruiz hit Anthony Joshua and his legs stiffened up? Remember that? You seen his legs stiffen up for a second and Ruiz know he got him? Like Bernard Hopkins got him? <laughs> he knew he had him. And he knew that because he seen the legs, how the legs stiffened up. Of course, he, he did this with his head, but his legs stiffed. I mean, they stiffed up like a corpse. And then, you know, Andy started welling away and all that stuff. But then, you know, but then after that, he got up. You seen him all over the place again. You know, it's called punch drunk. Okay. And eventually you get hit. You get hit enough, they will stop it. Because <laughs> you're flopping all around the ring. They will stop it. And they stopped it for Anthony Joshua. You know, they stopped him from fighting. The referee was like, nope, you don't want to fight or whatever. He might have been on his feet. But you can't say he didn't collapse. You can't say his legs st didn't stiffen up. They did. Okay? That's Anthony Joshua. Punch drunk. Wilder. When he got hit, how did he look? Flopping around all over the place, tripping around all over the place, getting knocked down all over the place. What was the reason? Gypsy magic, spike water from Mark Breeling being the double agent? No. Punch drunk. <laughs> he hit him hard to the head, made his ass punch drunk. It happens. If you've seen a Mike Tyson fight, just go watch a Mike Tyson highlight and how he hits people and makes them punch drunk. Okay? They get up and fall all over the place. What was wrong with him? He got fucking hit in the head. And unfortunately, there is not a drug test for that. You know, can you drug test him? Can you test him for the punch drunk syndrome? Because if that was the case, <laughs> if that was the case, that means that's what happens when you get hit. This is the sport that I love, that I hate so much. Because one punch can change everything. Okay? And this is what happened on both accounts. This is not a AJ bashing video. This is not a Deontay bashing video. This is a true video. And this is the most hilarious, simplest shit that I've read this morning. And it made me laugh like hell. <laughs> yep. You get it by hit, getting hit in the damn head. Right. That's your computer. All this is your computer up here. This is your heart. This is your engine. But your computer is here. 
I mean, for some people, right? And if you get hit anywhere up here, it could disturb certain things like motor skills. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, modern movement of your limbs. Okay. You get hit in a certain place. That's exactly what's going to happen to you. You know, it's a lot of things called punch drunk and, and, you know, no one, everyone wants to look for complex reasons and answers in, 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 in different scenarios and different uh, um, conspiracies. But no one wants to look at the most simplest. Right. This is a simple reason why both fighters were hit. They got hit because they got hit right. Wilder went down. And Wilder would look, you know, now you could argue on Wilder's behalf, though. That it was like a little too far behind the head. Now you could argue. Now if I was if if I was that type of fanatical guy, and that really doesn't even take fanatics. It just you know if you were a fan of Wilder, that's what you would argue about. That's that would be my argument. Fury hit him with an illegal blow. To say you had illegal shit in your hands, okay, that's pushing it. You know that's that's taking it to a whole other level. But anyway, I'm not. This is not what this video's for. So I'm not even going to talk about that, but he did get hit in the head. He did get hit in the head a lot, and he was punch drunk because of that. Anthony Joshua, he got hit with that left hook that changed the whole dynamics of the fight. His legs stiffened up. He got punch drunk. <laughs> right? There was no sabotage, no this, no that, no... Mm -mm. You know, the only sabotage happened because of the fists, because of these. That's what made them do what they did both fights those nights. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. You guys tell me what you think about Mr. Al P. Finalizing and solving the whole mystery of both fights. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.